Ho, ho, ho. Love, late or early. Late. We late, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's <true. laughs> We late. Hey, man. Listen, we back at it, man. We just a day late. Still ain't a dollar short, though. We straight on the money. I want to send a big shout out to the Dunham Tigers, my baby, them volleyball team. They've been grinding. I don't even know what their overall record is for the year. They're like 40 and 5 or something. But look, state championship tomorrow, you know, against, I think it's against Hannah. I don't know who it's against. But long season, man. Glad it's it's it, it's here for her and, and those girls, and they work their behind off. We had them on here a couple weeks ago, and, and you just see how phenomenal it was. I'm going to have to get some footage from that state championship. They balling. How everybody doing? Everybody should be good, dog. Like, I know we're a little late, but y'all in here all quiet. We should be good. What the f did we just see happen this weekend, though? <laughs> huh? <laughs> bring them out. Bring them out. What did we just witness this weekend, though? I wasn't even there, but my God. Huh? Y'all was there. Yeah. I was working the game. They had stormed. How was the... The 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 crowd, the, you know what I mean, like oh, inside, was, like all that there, electrifying, right. huh? Electric, like being it's on the crazy. field, it was like wow, like it was like when John scored that touchdown, oh, it, was it was shaking, was, like it was rocking. After that first touchdown, it was crazy. Like they was just waiting for something to happen. Like besides, Ron, you was on, the, you was down there. No, I wasn't on the field. I was at the game. How? Well, how you was? You was like a, a spectator. Yeah. You too, Stu. Yeah. So from that, so you telling me that from that perspective, yeah, from from the stand, y'all tailgate and everything, yeah, yeah. How was that? How was like that? Was it? I know it wasn't like the Southern game, as far as like the atmosphere, but, but how was, was it? Campus was jumping. Yeah, I was out there. I was out there tailgate. You know, we had big tailgate set up, uh, and something we're gonna be doing annually, man. It's gonna be a players tailgate that's led by former players, put on by former players. We're gonna hashtag former players tailgate all the time. Um, something that we gonna start, man, where guys can just come to, show up, you ain't gotta have no tickets, you ain't gotta, you know what I mean, give your wristbands and know where you at, but you know, something like that for the players, put on by us, so that was dope, that was dope, and to have it on that game was dope. That, listen, man, dog, the, the, you know what, the, the, the thing that was crazy about it is, it was, for me, it was, like, I spoke to so many people, like, the time that I was out there, everybody asked me, you know, they want you, they want to know, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do we have a chance? What do you think? Do we have a chance? And I'm like, shit, last three weeks, we got a chance mm -hmm. from what you've been seeing. So it was almost like the fans were waiting and hoping to like see how we came out, to see how, you know, how, how, how they was going to play and do. I heard from a lot of people that said the fans showed up. Was because I seen all the, the the tails on the Richter scales and all how the crowd noise and everything like that. What could you feel that inside? Was y'all in the stadium? Or y'all was y'all big time in the suites or something? No, we was in the stadium. Like we, we was, was in, the, in, in the student section. Like it was. Oh, y'all was in it. We was in it. Yeah, y'all was in it, dog. Student I was, section was packed two hours before. Hey, let me tell you something, bro. I even gained a lot more respect just from a football standpoint. I even gained a lot more appreciation for um, Jay and Daniels this weekend because he got the job done in a different way. You know what I mean? Yeah. He got the – and that's a sign of a mature quarterback, somebody that's understand, that's trying to turn the corner and still got a lot left to go um, with his maturity and his maturation. But I was very, very proud of, of, of how – um, he controlled the game. I was proud of how he controlled the game with his feet. You know what I mean? We talk a lot about him not running and not, you know, sliding, getting things of that nature. But in today's football, man, now you see it more than ever. And I think I, I saw it with Joe when Joe year, when everybody would say, hey, man, I was saying it too. Um, hey, you the only guy. That's it. But, you know, you can't hold, handcuff a guy let him play. And I was so – just blown away, really, on how he was able to dice up that defense with his feet, make great decisions with his feet, and then make timely throws when he had mm -hmm. to. It was a different way. You know what that defense was going to bring. Yeah. 
goodness gracious, can we say anything else about Shh, Perk? That defense. Oh, man. Oh, can't. have mercy. Jeez. Goodness gracious, right? I mean, my God. After he hit Bryce Young. Oh, the Bryce that, Young that was looking drive, for him the whole time. That first drive when he when he hit him and he threw it out of bounds, that's when I knew. I was like, yeah, we got him right. Bryce He'll Young. Love. Bryce Young was looking for him the whole time, dog. He looking over his shoulder like, we're 40. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man, we're going to go ahead and jump right into what well, we got offense up first. We're going to do a little recap. Jump right up into it and just, you know, offensively, man, it wasn't our greatest performance, but it was solid. The backs ran hard all night long. And the offensive line and the defensive line established themselves Later Early. in this football game, yeah, bro, like, like I'm gonna tell you, top to bottom, you see Emory here busting it up uh, 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 through there and establishing a physicality. Uh, look at the offensive line. Look, 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 look at Emory Jones <laughs> pushing. Look at this offensive line. You don't see any penetration. You don't see any penetration. Um, 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 coming through that offensive line. Big Frazier pushing them down and helping the back stuff. Two seven ran hard. Oh, Williams ran hard as they as they could. Armani had one carry. Look, look at me it. here. Out leverage, out flanks. God went up the side. And listen, this is an Alabama team that five stars, four stars on the line, and you have guys that are manhandling these guys. I think those two young tackles did a good night. Them two young tackles, they got their lunch yeah. ate a little bit early, <laughs> but that's what <laughs> for real. They got ate up now a little bit early. But this is the thing. They held it together when they had to. Here's a nice hole right here. Nice hole right here by Josh Williams. Nice solid run. You see him cover up the football. And this is what the, this is what the O-line did. This is what LSU did. And this was, man. Yeah, man. That double team was beautiful. Go back. Go back. Double team was beautiful right there. See him getting fired up. Look at him. Boom, 70. Now we come off and bang up to the leg. Yeah, like, you know, when you could get holes like that, and you, you don't have to pancake a guy. You know? You just got to turn him or move turn, him. Yeah, turn him and let just get in his way. Get in his way. This was a grown man. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. Third yeah, down. Yeah. Third and seven. That was a huge run. I remember that was a huge run uh, uh, in the course of this game right here. Because he's supposed to got stopped right here by 42. Boom. And he just ran through that. That's weight room. That's low center of gravity. That's keeping them legs churning. That's off-season workout right there by 2-7. And these are the throws that I'm talking about by him. Look at that pocket. Go back for me. Look at that pocket. Normally, before man, if this was uh, if this was early on in the season, you would see him trying to get out this trying pocket. Around, yeah. Right. Look at this. Everything's going on around. He still, still sit up in there and deliver a great strike to boot, uh, boot Kayshawn. That's what you want. That's 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 the maturation of this kid. I'm proud to see it. Those are the times that I'm talking about the play. Because you have some times where he had to throw it away. You know, some flaws behind. But it was a tough SEC game, and he stood in there and, and played tough. Great catch there. Great catch. That was a good pickup by Emory, too. Yeah. Came out late. but And you know what? They're trusting him more. Mm -hmm. I think that you're seeing Emory more, a lot more now getting to the flow. I think they're trusting him more when it comes to the uh, pass protection. Same kind of play here. And this is what, like, you know, I had a conversation, bro, with, with, with and this is with, with some people. And this is what you're seeing from, from, from um, Jaden now. They, the, the playbook has been cut down, and you see him going. They design it. So, you, okay, you here. You got single man. Let's go here. And it's a single receiver read. You know what I mean? And he's making good decisions. That's a great throw there. That's a great throw there. Accurate throw. Because if that's behind, Kayshawn is not a court ball. You see, know what I mean? See, the screen right here. See, fake. Yeah. Didn't have the wheel. Came back into the play. Beautiful. And it's right accurate. Now. Accurate. That's what you want. Beautiful. A little bit more on the front shoulder, just being picky, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, A little picky, but you know how we do. And I'm going to tell you, this damn freshman uh, tight end, you know, mm. I thought, I knew he was go he had a lot of athletic ability, but this kid is tough as hell. And he has a, a knack for the big plays, man. Same yeah. here. You see here, easy read. This is it here. Easy read. Curl flat, get in the flat, give it to him. Easy read. You didn't see him look anywhere else. His head stayed to the left, reading that flat defender the entire time. Flat defender stayed inside, boom, outside. Nice, easy read. That's how simple they've cut it down for Jaden. And it's, uh, and it's, and it's wonderful because all, all he's doing now is reacting and playing football. You see here. Did he look anywhere else? 
One, one, one side. Because you got single receiver, you got everybody, you done designated to the right side. I got my man, man to man. This is where we're going. Period. Great catch. Over Eli Ricks, too. Great catch. Saving in the back hurt. Oh, yeah, the butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> butt hurt. You seen his press come? Oh, God. He seemed like he wanted to cry. Hey, dog, because he know he out of it. <laughs> he out of it. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Good decision. This kid makes great decisions. That's the other thing about him. The kid makes great decisions with the football when he has the football in his hand. He's not taking no big hit, slide down. You know, that's 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 a wrap up. That's that's tucking somebody in right there on the tackle. Good decision. Everybody took off. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why they thought 98 was going to be the spy on that play. Chop. Now, and, and ain't nobody that could spy that kid, but the only person that could spy him is on his team. <laughs> Perk, baby. It's only one. This is what he does. Slippery as hell, dude. Hey, Beautiful. Got his flag. Beautiful. Yeah, that ain't even flag football. I'm saying. Oh, Lord, don't even bring that up. I lost the flag football championship last night with my nine-year-old. Why'd you bring that up, Stu? <laughs> you know how it is when you have nine-year-olds crying? <laughs> when you have a whole team of nine-year-olds just crying because we just lost? Goodness gracious. Nobody has stopped this play to John Emery yet. yet. No one has stopped this play. Let me tell you something. That kid's best days are ahead of him. He's a fantastic football player. Unfortunately enough, he gone this year. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He's gonna be a hell of a back in the NFL. I don't know what the hell that was, but that you know that's a that's a DB that's making a business decision because that's not a really hell of a fake right there. No. <laughs> and then you got the sideline, so you yeah. can really just push him out. Yeah, just hit that front leg. You know, I'm a quarterback, and I know that 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 ain't the right way to make that tackle, baby. Establishing dominance right here. This is all this is right here. This is all this is right here. I love this formation. Um, and Josh Williams, let me tell you something. This kid has thrust himself right into the spotlight as one of those backs that you have to be on the look for. He's a he's a hungry, determined runner, man. Every time you see this kid touch the football, just like you pointed out, that was a grown man's run earlier. You feel me, Stu? This one too, grown man run. Big A, hey, that's what you call them tough yards right there, and that's what the offensive line like right there, baby. Three by one formation here. Look at head ain't never moved. One side. You know what I mean? Oh, Taylor. This is the one right here. The kid. Oh, hey. The other thing you notice about 86, Coach Taylor. Taylor never let that ball get in his body, dog. Mm -mm. That ball never Man. get everything is with them big paws he got, baby. Man. Hey, and that's in traffic with a guy draped all over you. That's trust right there. That's a great spot where he put the ball and he went up and high point that thing. Way to go, 86. Then he come back with the game winner. And, you know, what I don't understand about the damn game winner, it wasn't even that. Complicated. Of a yeah. Play. It's the same play we've been running all night. I run it with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That's the overtime run. Yep. I remember that. That was a, listen, one and done, let's get it over with. I'm not sure, like, who's supposed to be spying. Because, honestly, just go back a little bit. Great decision, great. By 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 Jaden, of course. It looked like he would have scored or Josh would have scored. Yeah, I mean, look at the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I understand that the guy was squeezed. He made a great uh -huh. decision. I ran him to the corner and hey, look one at, hit a quarter. Look at the block by Brian Thomas. Hey, on Brian the Thomas and Cole. Ain't that's Cole that's up there Mason too? Taylor. Mason Taylor. Look at the block up there at the top. You know what BJ gonna do? BJ's a monster though, dog. That's is that's, that Eli? Yeah. <laughs> You already, hey, you already know BJ hey, was talking to him. Oh. Come here, boy. You want to leave? Come here. <laughs> I know they was talking to him on the sideline. He got stuck. Look hey. At him. He stuck back there. Hey, hell yeah. <laughs> I would have, they, they should have held him down and talked to him. You already know that's how I would have held him down and talked to him, dog. He got to be sick. That's all right, home boy. Grass ain't always green my boy. Nah, it ain't. See, this ain't nothing complicated here. Mm -mm. It just, but, but you know what, though? It was a, and this this all the credit in the world to the call as well as understanding what they were doing, mm -hmm. but also these guys executing this play. These guys, look at he executing this play, man, and knowing exactly where he was on the football because that shit was close. Oh, it was. That's what I'm saying. They ain't give he him almost no, he almost ran out of real estate, yeah, baby. They didn't give him no time to review it, but if they would, he in there though. He in there, yeah. He in there, but I mean it's close. 
you know. And there is the ball game, folks. <clears throat> Tigers take down big. Look at Saban, big bad Bama. It's over with. Let me see my man Perk, dog. Let me. Uh, we need to just do a set. Listen, at the end of the year, we're gonna just do a, a, a segment on Perk. You hear me? Just all his clips of perk. high perk. Just perk, perk highlights. Perk, yeah. We're going to name it the perk segment. The perk package. The perk. <laughs> there it is. See, PP, baby. PP, perk package. Listen, man. This is a dominant, very dominant young man. Got to have it, though. And, and let me tell you. I'm going to tell you who's growing on me. I don't even know his name. 24 or 2. 24. How you knew? JBC? How you knew I was going to say 24? Because we've been... Me, Look, that's that's one player that I've been on hard this whole season. How you know I'm gonna say that though? Because it, because like he's just one of them guys. Because I've been on his ass hard exactly. too. Yeah. Is he one of them guys that's just been getting? But I ain't gonna lie, dog. He answered the call. He getting better every week. Every week that jit getting better. You understand? Every week jit getting better, man. And 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 I like to see that. I like to see that. And I'm gonna tell you, he's a hell of a specimen now as an athlete mm -hmm. and where he got that. The boy long. And rangy, so hey. Now nah, this was just a hell of a play. Nah, that's Bryce. That's yeah. just Bryce. I, I I can't even really get mad. Like that's what, when you have a hell of a quarterback, a Heisman Trophy winner. Heisman, you know what I'm saying? Like he, like that's Bryce. Some guys are gonna make plays, and this is just what this was right here. Um, See, getting out of coming. position. Anytime that uh, a quarterback, we always say, man, our biggest plays are made on scrambles. You know what I'm saying? Scrambles and plays that you don't account for, busted plays. And this is what this is. Guys run around. Hey, man, them guys can't protect back there forever. Excuse the whole, me, cover forever. Missed the you know hold on Perk on that play, though. Man, they hold Perk every down. You know what I'm saying? Pick, give me that. He was trying that Patrick Mahomes shit right there in 2-4. He, he got it around. He got it around, but this is the it thing. too far back. The, the, he was anticipating that back coming back down. Mm -hmm. It ain't happened. Boom, see? Boom. Yeah, he was supposed to come yeah, back, come to, back to him. He ain't, it ain't happened. That's what I I would have thought the same thing when I without him through that. Like you're gonna come down. But nah, that's that whip with that whip. Nah, that ain't gonna work. That's Patrick Mahomes. Only he can do that shit. <laughs> hey, Baskerville, monster. Monster. Baskerville, Baskerville. he's the glue. Perk the perk is the is the is the I mean, he foundation. Perk, yeah, he Perk is the unicorn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Baskerville. But Baskerville, like he's gonna play in the NFL for a long time, Making man. Making all the calls for real. He, sure he, everybody he, lined he up. Baskerville is a monster. Shout out to Baskerville. He's a he's a he's a monster for real. For real. Like it's a noticeable difference when he come off the field. Mm -hmm. Anytime, anytime Michael Baskerville come off the field, it's a noticeable difference. Yeah, Baskerville, a monster, man. Like, just it's it's a lot crisper and cleaner when he's out there, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Baskerville. I'm telling you, man, these guys. Like, they this kept deep is though. Le uh, Alley Gay. They was, oh they man, kept my thirty-two big dog. in the game. Thirty-two is a freshman. Demario Tolan, thirty-two. For real? Yeah, he's a freshman. And you you could watch Michael Baskerville telling him every time he was in the game exactly what to do, what to do, yeah, like, what to do. I, know, I didn't yeah. know he was a freshman, but I saw that. What Move to do? Yeah, way. hell yeah. That's why I say, dog, Baskerville gonna play a long time, man. Look at him, a long. He he dissect exactly shit. Where it's going. Love Baskerville. He right He's the he. That's right. He was in on that uh, dog. And you got to understand that. Look at Perk. Perk. But you got to understand, now that, look at everything we just pointed out, Stu. Now you got to, now, Ooh. now just think about Perk. Perk don't know that shit like that. So Baskerville helping him too. You understand? Look at my dog. Boom. Knock your head off, he boy. Quick, go back. Hey, listen. That's like a heat-seeking missile Ooh. now. You understand me? And I like the fact that, like, he under you could tell he's a smart football yeah. player, too. I know he's aggressive. But he don't but make dumb plays. No, he like doesn't. That. And when he does, he does it on purpose. I really believe that. He like my homeboy Twink. That was in here. Mm -hmm. Like, Twink, well, he used to, he played in, too. So, Twink, whenever somebody, like, pissed him off or whatever, he used to be like, yeah, I'm going to knock his ass out. I don't care what the penalty is or what happened. <laughs> and he used to do it. And you used to tell. Like, you know, some of them guys, you know, they make their mind up, well, I'm going to get it. 
work as a quarterback. Him. Listen, man, he he was on the ground and dove at that boy. You understand? That's like a shark smelling blood. I'm gonna tell you, Wingo. Wingo player. Wingo. Shout out to Wingo, man. Wingo is 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 an animal. And he's right he's right versatile. Now nah, I'm talking about '92. Oh, yeah, I know, but I, I ain't talking about right I ain't talking about Jack. I know Jack. I Jack played with my son. I know Jack. I'm talking about nine two. You could put him inside. You could put him outside. Like nine two is going. Like th these guys. Let me tell you something. Look at nine two. That's holding now. Look at Perk. <laughs> Perk making the throw it out of bounds, baby. Perk making the throw it out of bounds. Seriously, what they yeah, think they're gonna happen? Holding. Yeah, it was holding. Listen, what they got on like Perk is 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 the ultimate spy because he's not a spyer. He's a closer. He don't spy. He when he see is over with, and you ain't gonna run away from. Here we go again. See, uh uh, you crazy as hell. Man, you crazy. I know Bryce. You crazy as hell. Hey, Bryce, Bryce Young, Bryce Young. You know what Bryce Young should have did? Bryce Young should have took some of that N A N I L bread he got, and sent that check over to forty before and tried to bribe him out of playing or something, dog. Because listen. Kiffin, Kiffin, Lane Kiffin, where she, is that his name at Ole Miss? Kiffin, Kiffin should have did it. You saw how he was talking about the boy. Listen, if Perk is not a consensus, all American. All Amer I ain't talking about no freshman. He probably be a freshman. Listen, no, I ain't talking about no freshman, though. That's what I'm getting at. Y'all talking about, I ain't talking about no freshman. I'm talking about consensus, all American. First team freshman, all American. That's what I'm talking about. See he better be. He better be. Who better? Be? Listen, man, I know they got a lot of players. No disrespect to nobody out there. But we talking about a freshman, like true freshman. You understand? Like, that college dissect shit, that sees it, that go get it with the help of a, 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 a two, three, of course. But this kid, is he's special, bro. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal at the position. Phenomenal. We're going to take a quick, short break and come back with, what we coming back with, Jay? Hot Topics. We're coming back with Hot Topics, man. We're going to be back on, hoo, 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 where my dog's at. Eat your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case. Interact. Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Get it done. <laughs> So, see, if, 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 if he's going to come out and do that every time, well, now, and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo, you know, that I talked to Jimbo personally about this, and their friendship was a friendship that was more uh, professional, yeah, you know what I mean, professional, uh, not we're going to spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit, it was... You know, very professional. You coach for me. We learn from each other. That type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit. You know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now they're going to dig into your shit? So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you. Could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag, now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it? Keep 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 all that in house. And Coaches chimed in on that. Uh, Lane Kiffin chimed in too. Lane Kiffin was like, his <laughs> Lane Kiffin said his mouth was still wide open. It was 7 o'clock and he's still looking at the, tele <laughs> at the television. And the press conference was at damn 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean? So I, all those coaches chimed in because they were surprised at what happened with Coach Saban saying that. Because if you think about Coach Saban, everything that he does is very calculated. And it's and it's and it's to move the needle in his direction in his favor. So 
I don't know if what his motive was. I would love for him to let us know what that was or to come out so we can find out. I don't know what his motive was, but his mo but it, whatever his motive was, it was definitely something that he planned in my opinion. Just from playing for him and, and knowing him as a, as a per as you know, friends. Hot topics, dog. How you feeling? Man? Hot topics. Let's get into that right now. What we talking about right now is, you know, myself I played for uh coach Jimbo Fisher and I also played for coach Nick Saban. Um at the hot twilight of my years at LSU, uh, transferring from Coach Jerry DiNardo. And I, I've spoken about this a couple times. We gotta turn the air up down in here, dog. Damn. Um, I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody know Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for so for for Coach Saban to excuse me to go into the 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 kind of rant that he did, but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the the name calling part. I think somebody might have slipped slipped him a Mickey or or, or slipped him something uh, before he before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level, for him to call them guys, and especially for him to call them guys out after, dog, Coach Saban been winning the, the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under-the-table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting-wise and uh, coaching-wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parity and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parity is happening. You know what I mean? Parity is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the 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 – uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack, and now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. The, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at that at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how are you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money. You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players, it's because they got more money. It's because they offer these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checkbooks and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like you say, get some kind of parity for the NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money, I say this, man, you better catch up. In a wreck, Gordon McKern, the injury attorneys, is so. So, well, I gotta tell you yeah, what happened. So, so, man, it's a when they play that song, that fight song, man. You know, we only play that fight song in the fourth quarter and the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it was a time where they were trying to rally us and we were getting our ass to start. Yeah, it was, it was 13 and band, a half time. The band played the fight song in the second quarter. Show like did. At a time Show did. It, it, man, they absolutely that did. goddamn song got in my bones and I started having a goddamn out of body experience. <laughs> <laughs> and I told Coach Saban was walking, and I told Coach Saban, Coach, I want to play. And he looked at me and said, Why don't you step behind the line? <laughs> the coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that, that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest? Whoever picks this it's up, it's an even playing field. Yeah, one hundred percent. 
even playing field because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had what four different coordinators in four years. Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. Yeah. Uh, bring back the Joe Brady one. That one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background. This is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's just different verbiage. Curl, flat is curl, flat. Goals is goals. You know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from Nuss, Meyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys. They should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nuss Meyer's advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, his legs. Without a doubt, his confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going to, because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out, but he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. <laughs> she was whispering. She started laughing. I'm the she started laughing and shaking her head. Huh? <laughs> oh man, we up, we up, we up, we up. A lot going on this week, man. It's been a long week for everybody, I think. Crazy. Everybody's had a crazy long week. Um but we're gonna get into these hot topics and uh see what other kind of week it's been for everybody else. Uh, what we got up, Jay? Basketball is back, baby. LSU? Yeah. Well, all college basketball is back. Fuck that. We're just talking about LSU. But LSU women's had their first game of the season on Monday, and they won 125, so I want to say 50. And then men's had their game Wednesday night. They won 73 to 64, I want to say. Against Kansas City, and then women's basketball plays again tonight against they Mississippi play tonight. State, and men's play tomorrow. Let me see who they play real quick. So who 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 are who are we looking forward to seeing? Let me tell you. Well, I know we well for the men's. I know we got the returner coming back that were hurt last year. Oh, What's the boy name? Arkansas State. Who? Uh, his LSU? name? Yeah, his name Adam Miller. Miller. So he should be one of the standouts. I know y'all was talking about and what they've been pumping. Right. Who else we looking forward to seeing though? Who else should I be looking for? On the men's team? Yeah, on the men's team. KJ Williams. That's one of the transfers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. From uh Murray State. Who else? Tra- is it Trey? Justice. Justice. Have y'all been to any exhibition games? Mm-hmm. I didn't you seen them yet? I seen them. I, I saw them on Wednesday. Games. They played Kansas City their first game. So I How they them. look? They look good. You can just tell that like they haven't played together yet. So they still trying to get that chemistry. Kim- but they yeah. play they play good. You can just tell some kinks they need to work out. Where Where's the talent? Where's the talent at Everybody's on the team? Everybody's talent. Yeah, they, they, they got talent in the front court and the back court, for sure. Like, it's, So, do we, like, I mean, I know it's a first-year coach. You're bringing in some transfers from Murray State, I think, right? I this, think this team would be better offensively, for sure. This would at the end of the season or midway point? At the end of the season, yeah. It's not going to be think like, that, I mean, do they compete in the SEC? Yeah. Really? For this sure. would all say about the team. I think that McMahon is a lot different than Will Wade just because he's a little bit more calm 
and he kind of like lets them run it themselves. I think he is a smart team, and I think that a lot of players on the team know how to coach each other up. Those what transfers are guards, huh? Uh, Four was two. KJ, uh, KJ Williams. Only three players came back from the team last year. Right, right, right. I know it's a whole new revamp team. I I've seen them working out. I work out in the damn in the weight room. The the what well, it's the old weight room, but it's the weight room I'm used to, and that's where they train at. So I see them all the time. Um, the so it's three transfers from Murray State, two guards and one forward. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Two guards and one forward. Yeah. It might be more than that. <coughs> more than three. No, I think it's. Well, that's fine. But what I'm saying is like when you pointing out the fact that like he he um, no it's three right it's he's three. different and he allows them to play it out to see well he, he must coaches. trust those I think guys he, cro- he coaches more on offense i think that like will wade defensive was, minded yes he didn't coach much on offense he would kind of just like they didn't really have an offense they would just kind of go out there and play it would it seem like and that's why i think that they didn't do as well as they could have in conference play mm-hmm. but i think this team will be a lot better offensively they can they score they just got to clean up on like turnovers and stuff but as a whole, they're good offensively and defensively. So yeah. we thinking that they're competing in the SEC for this sure. year for sure. Much better. It's some monsters in the SEC now. But it's a lot better. Like it's like they complement like the, the like both sides of the ball. They're a better put together team. Well, like they play well on defense, and then they go back on the offensive, and then they have plays, and they you know move the ball. It's 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 a lot of things that go into it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check them out. I'm gonna have to check them out, but. Shit, good luck to them Tigers. You know, we always rooting for them Tiger program. Good luck to the men's basketball shit. But we already know about Kim Mulkey. By Kim Mulkey. We know they gonna compete. We know that 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 they putting up hundred points every That's what I'm telling you. Like they going they gonna be there. Like we already know they're gonna be there. But they're there defensively as well, and that's what Kim. Oakley that's important. About. That's important. They can, of course, they can score. They got Ooh, Angel Lord, Reese. They Jesus got Alexis Morris. Christ. They got Flaja. Everybody, everybody on the team and coming off the bench can score. Every single person. But on defense, Kim Oki was talking in her press conference, and she was just like, "I pride my programs on their defense." Like, and you can tell it's small guards going to get offensive boards. So it's like everybody's doing good. I love Kim Mulkey, man. I love Kim Mulkey. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you always say that. Like you love I do. Kim I, I do, dog. Cause I, just like... I do because you know why I like Kim Mulkey? Because I met her at uh, the seafood spot on on uh, Perkins and that Fields Oyster. I met her over there like, when she first got here, dog. And my first, like, you know, I've been seeing over the years, coaching, I always loved the energy, like at La Tech and when she was out there, when she was at Texas. Baylor, Baylor. Baylor. I always loved the energy. You know what I'm saying? But like when I saw her pick up Paul Maneri, mm-hmm. you saw when she first met and she did you see that? Yeah. She picked him up off the ground. Yeah. And yeah. I know Paul Maneri's not a huge guy, but it's still you it. and so her enthusiasm and stuff. And then when I met her, she was talking football. She just and I like her son and I love her, you know, he played great for the Tigers and you know, I like I I I'm a Kim Moki fan, man. You know, I'm a fan she's so of Kim likeable. Moki. Yeah, yeah, she's she a nice. likable lady. And she seems just personable down. And then listen, listen. She ain't trying to go nowhere, dog. Like she trying to run it up here. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I like about I think it. She just wanted to play Don Staley. I think every Kim Mulkey gonna make them build a new basketball st- uh, statue. No, like or, a new basketball. They're gonna build arena. a new arena. Yeah, they're yeah. trying to no. do renovations to the people. Listen, yeah, but I'm saying like I think she's gonna change But they started talking thing. about build it because of Kim Mulkey. Real, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think she's gonna Mulkey change some things up build. because you already know what's coming with her. Look at all the crew she getting, dog. Like, she had the number one recruiting class. That's what I'm class. saying. I ain't never seen that. At LSU. No, nah, not in a minute. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you had Big Seal, you know, Big Seal, shout out from the 305 786, you know, Marie Ferdinand, 305 786, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my girl Flo, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look, she know. played good. Flo? Flaje, she got out. No, early. I ain't telling her. It was a she flow. Got, oh, it so was a sorry. flow before her. So now, nah, don't get it I twisted. I was shouting out the girl right nah, now. Nah, she balling, of course, but there was a flow before your yeah, flow back true. in the day. Front of career, MIA 305, 786. You know, flow, I got to shout you out. Yeah, we had a we had them ballers out there from Miami playing at LSU before. Of course, shout out to the young ballers that's coming in. Go ahead. I got nothing but respect for them. I love them. Got to give her respect. But yeah. she got some foul trouble early. She For brought real? her back in, and she, she did what she had to do. She had a little business. Now, you've been watching them play. What's the best part of her game? 
so far from what you've seen? I know she's a young, young player. I mean, she can score easily, like mm. easily. How tall is she? Let me pull it up. She's you tall. You mean, Not top of my head. But you done seen her on the court. What she look like? She at least five. She nine. She yeah. She not. Not she like, five ten because okay, I like she not okay. six feet but she yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, she about the size of my little girl. But she's just to be a freshman, she can score. Like I can tell that she knows she's mature. Yes, and she has good. She's a mature IQ. score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the way you put it, right? Yes. Sir. Perfect. Okay, Perfect yeah, she's a mature IQ. score. But I love that's how, good. I love how they all. A lot of these girls haven't played together. Some have, but like Angel Reese is new, and I love how she talked about in her press conference that she's been in a leadership role with this team and she hadn't been in that role for real in Maryland. And you can just see, like, they care about each other and they care about winning. You and need, you need that. Good. You need that. You got to have camaraderie for you to have a successful team. You got to like each other. You got to hang out. You got to, you know, because that helps you put it on the line for the person next to you. If you don't do. like the person, if you don't f fuck with them, you know ain't all that, you're not going to be like, let me make this extra effort. You know what I mean? I don't care. You know what I mean? So, and I don't even see Kim Mokey having that though. Kim Mokey not having that dog. Kim Mokey knows what it takes to build a championship team, just like Sue Gunther won big, but when Sue was here. And, and, and that's what's, that's what's going to happen. Kim Mokey's going to build a championship team here Absolutely. with the Tiger Lady, Lady Basketballs. And that's just what it is, period. What I, think it's, I think it'll be this team, but if it's not this team, it'll definitely happen next listen, year. Listen, man, the, I ain't, listen, they, they going to get it. I already know. Kim Mo can't come here they to play with deep. nobody, They going dog. to Texas they for ain't sure. Come to play nobody. They ain't come here to play what, with nobody. What year is Angel Reese? Junior. So she still have another season, okay. and then probably another one. They got them gangsters, and they got them gangsters coming. So, hey, we looking good, baby. Kim Mokey ain't letting nobody get out the state that's wrong. Mm -mm. And she ain't letting nobody get out from the South. Like Kim, I ain't worrying about Kim Mokey. And man. We got to have Kim Mokey get out She got out two here. girls coming from New York. That's what I'm telling you. Two from hey, the they Bronx. ball up north. <laughs> Say what you want, boy. What we got next? That man Kyrie Irving blackballed out the league. Everybody. They kicked him out? Nike uh, suspended like their deal oh, with him. Because of, might, the, they might of the, uh, what Kyrie did. Remember he anti-Semitic, yeah. yeah, but he post. So what they did to him? He well, did you see like all the things that he had to do in order to get back on the team? What the man that that they made him like the man, the guy, the I, I don't, I really don't know who the guy is, but what guy that they, wrote the thing? No, they making him like do like counseling with this like Jewish rabbi, man, I guess. But yeah. it's more, it's just and the a guy, whole bunch of stuff. What what he got to do? He he's like doing like counseling, I would guess. That's no, it's it. but it's more than that. He has he's to, doing it now. Yeah, but he's doing that, and the guy like tweeted about it, but like yesterday, and he was the saying, rabbi. Like, yeah, he was saying like Kyrie was like making strides in his counseling and understanding, and he doesn't, he isn't like, he has no hate towards the Jewish community or any other group. Like, who who made him do that? The NBA? No, the, the Nets. This the is what it is. The Nets made him. This is what he must complete. Nigga, that's like going to court. That's like you went in the court What's and they the, gave I, you. I got it. I got it. What's the dude's name? Hold on, I'm finna tell you all of it. So, in order to return to the team, he has to apologize slash condemn the movie, donate five hundred thousand to anti hate causes, take sensitivity training, take anti Semitic training, meet with ADL Jewish leaders, meet with Joe Sy to demonstrate understanding. Who is Joe Sy? The, the owner of who? He's Jewish. And yeah, he is Jewish. That's why. No, 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 no. The two of the leaders he has to do training with are Jewish. Joe Sy isn't Jewish, I don't think. He's the owner of the team. The Nets. So these are the so so right now Kyrie suspended. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. So faith. this is what he tweeted four hours ago. Clara and I met with Kyrie and who his family Clara? yesterday. I don't know. It so must be a, probably another executive for the Nets. Mm. Met with Kyrie and his family yesterday. We spent quality time to understand each other, and it's clear to me that Kyrie does not have any beliefs of hate towards Jewish people or any group. Wow. And he said the Nets and Kyrie together with the NBA and NBA PA are working constructively towards a process of wow. forgiveness, healing, and education. Wow, wow, wow. I 
I'm speechless. Well, you know, let me say this. <clears throat> he wasn't saying nothing hateful. <laughs> like, I don't know why they like took I don't that know, like a, you know, if it took that. Basically, you, you know, when you start reading all that stuff off, and that, you know what it remind me? It remind me of, like, you um, definitely doing something wrong, something very, very wrong. Like, you just got put on trial, and, like, you just got convicted all at the same time. And now you done got convicted and told how to fix it all in the same realm. And if that does not happen, these privileges, these things would be taken from you. And to show that, we're going to take some stuff from you already to let you know that we ain't playing with you. You know what I mean? I mean, I the thing that... I can remember this, and the thing that Bob, that's crazy about it is, like, none of those things was his words. He didn't none, say he, not him. all. Like, I heard, I watched and seen him explain this to the people before this even came out, and he was like, he was reading something and wanted to get a better understanding of something and looked it up, and this is what came up, and he read it, and tweeted it or whatever and that was it how do you like i mean i know a lot of people you know what i mean like if you don't know an individual like if you don't know him you know and he didn't say anything i understand that he tweeted something out and it's a reflection of thoughts it's a reflection of thoughts it's a reflection of what you're thinking or what you uh, may be interested in finding about. You know what I'm saying? And he explained that. How do you get, I don't like a certain kind of people from that, is what I don't get. And That's what why, I was trying to understand. And why is my livelihood, and why is my job, and why, because if it's freedom of speech and freedom of expression, and I'm not saying nothing hateful. I'm not doing anything to anybody, which I'm tweeting about something that I read. And, hey, who else have read this? Who else have whatever, whatever? I didn't say da 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 da, -da. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know me enough to even come to those conclusions, you know? So I don't know if it's in the right message, dog. Like, I'm confused by it, really, about why do I have and I'm not and now I would say this if it was anybody not if it was just Kyrie Irving if it was damn you know anybody if it was uh what's the Jokic Jokic I, I would say the same thing like I don't understand why now if you said something and it got taken out of context or you really meant something or you know whatever heated moment woo -woo, whatever and you you know apologize or go back and see what you said and put whatever then that's a different story but I don't understand how you have to go through all this to reassure and to to tell people of your character and to again um stand on who you are and your morals and your person and how you was raised and all that just based on simply you investigating being intrigued being um woke in a sense, to trying to educate yourself and find out what's going on, what your intellect is telling you that needs to be fed, and he's doing that, and now, I mean, people are different, man. That's why we, we are all different, and until we get to a point to where, like, we can honestly have these conversations and honestly, like, see the views from other people's side, because... A rich person and a poor people ain't gonna think, and a poor person ain't gonna think alike. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. A black person and a white person that's grown up in totally separate places ain't gonna think alike. But if you got a white person and a black person that grow up in the same place, they gonna think alike. You know what I'm saying? When I got to school, I was raised by a single mother. My roommate was raised by his wonderful mother and his wonderful father. He and I thought a different on some shit. You know what I'm saying? So. 
until we could like get to have these conversations and get to the root and nobody be mad and upset because somebody else thinks different than you do. Just be real about this shit and be honest. Then we'll be able to move on from this because now this man coming saying everybody in the world thinking that Kyrie Irving is 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 a is a racist against Jews, Jewish people. And now you have somebody that they put in front of him to evaluate him and to basically go in and see is he okay? Is he really this way? And this man's coming out emphatically saying no. You know what I mean? No, we just don't understand what he was saying. We just don't understand how he was conveying this to us. We don't understand. Of course you don't understand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Can't even say nothing. What you got? You saw uh, Wakanda Forever came out last night? I know, dog. I ain't going to see it yet, though. I'm waiting for my fiance to come back, so I go get that thing. Boy. <laughs> what you think? What you think about Hey, now, I'm a... I, you, listen, you going to wear all white? You know you got to wear all white, baby. I what you mean? Know. All white. Yeah, it's... it's, it's, it's to, nah, it's, it's all white for uh, Chadwick Boseman. Oh. Chadwick Boseman, you know, that's one of my favorite. Like, it's so crazy, dog. My girl, my girl said it all the time, because every time his movies come on, I'll watch them, because I like... I love him as an actor. You know what I mean? Like, even though he was so young, woo -woo, but I was a fan of his for... for until the like, first time I saw him, I, I was a fan of his. But yeah, it's all white. And just, you know... In memory of him, and just in in respect to your, your the ancestors and everything like that. So yeah, hell yeah, y'all going that thing white out, man. White out, dog. Late night, white night. You know what I'm mean? saying? White out. Y'all gonna see it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Definitely gotta see that. Yeah. yeah. You and know I ain't Marvel movie. It's probably all the Marvel stuff. I like I Marvel know, shows. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. You know, the first time up. that shit came out, I ain't see it in the theaters. For real. I don't think I saw it in the theater. I didn't see the it in the theater either. the first time. You did? Mm-hmm. It's dope. Like, it was dope, though. I was watching. I was like. <laughs> right, it was dope. That's how it was for, like, Avengers in the second. Yeah. Like, dude, to see all them black people. I loved that. In yeah. a damn. Movie. Marvel movie. They got a dude from LSU that's in the movie. I like to see that. Man. No, I'm serious. Listen, he, like, man, in the movie. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, man. Hold on. You know the dude? That's my dog, man. Uh, it's a bunch of them. We, we got an ex former LSU player, Rayon Hill. Damn. That's in the movie, man. Oh, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Benny Brazil, who ran track at LSU, it's his younger brother that you're talking about. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's Benny Brazil's younger brother, man. In that bitch, bro. Like, like it's, it's amazing because, like, I don't even know how long ago it was, really. It was when he was getting started in his stuntman um, um, adventures. You know what I'm saying? And it was a long time ago, um, about 12 years, gotta be 12 years. And he was just getting started and I saw him in the LSU weight room. And I was like, he was like, yeah, bro, man, I'm about to go get in the movies. We started doing movies with Rayon. Rayon put him on. And I was like, yeah, we go ahead and do that shit, big dog. Just make sure you holler at me. Ooh, ooh. And dog, uh, next thing you know, he in the Transformer shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he an extra in like the little slave movies and all the little, you know, funny little movies mm -hmm. and, and space movies. He's sending pictures with, you know, at Will Smith yeah. and all them type of people in there. Bro, then it's, then it's just like, Boom, you know what I mean, and it was just crazy, bro. Like, like, like to see him take off like that, and yeah, he's he's in this shit right now. So, how you think it's gonna out? You think it's gonna outgross the other one? What's the other one? Oh, the first yeah, the, one, the first, first movie. Two? Yeah, shit, it probably will. I mean, I liked the first one better than the second one, just because the second one I was like, dang, like. It was just a lot going on in the second one. What you mean? They killed him in the second one. Yeah, I know. What you mean? You ain't like the plot? I didn't like that they killed him. Like, I was like, what? Well, they making way for the new wave of, like, Marvel characters. I know, but I'm just like. So now his sister, Black Panther. And they got, like, the new Iron Man character in it, too. They got a lot of people in it, though. Yeah, we'll see. It's like, 
It's a lot. How you knew the, the, the guy from LSU was in there? Because somebody posted it, like LSU posted it. You know his name? Floyd. Yeah, Floyd. <laughs> it was Floyd. Floyd. That's so crazy, bro. He was in the first one, though. He was in, yeah, he was in the first one. He was in, in he's been in a bunch of movies. Listen, Floyd is going to be real shit. He's going to be like a star yeah. in that. He's going to be really, really good. Young guy that started out. You know, at the bottom and work his way up, and now I see it. Floyd good. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna see it like in a week or so when it comes back for real. What you got? You saw uh, Nick Cannon welcoming his 12th child. Man, that's 12? And he just announced his 11th last week. What? <laughs> 12 kids. Like, yeah, but like, he. <laughs> And see what people don't know is he got, like he has multiple kids with some of these women. Like yeah. some that one says, some of them got mom. two. Huh? Yeah, some like, got two, three. Like, but it's like he'll go to one, go to another one, go back to this one and have two more. Go back to this one, have two. Then go to somebody new, go to somebody new, go back to that one. And like, then some of them have twins. We like, looked at the fam, like how his the family, family tree is, and it's like one and two over here, three, three. four, <laughs> five over here, six right. over here, seven back over here. Eight, nine, ten over here, eleven, twelve, somebody new. I'm like, <laughs> man, he, he, he probably go to a lot. How many kids he got? Twelve? <laughs> nah, dog, well, you can't. You can't. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. So he would. So it's eleven. No, it should have been thirteen. Yeah, he should be at I thirteen. Think. And they got somebody pregnant. He got a, it's like three pregnant right now. He has a full God, 11. Damn. Like he could play football Hey, right now. um, I wonder what that's about, though. I don't know, man. That's. And like you say, a lot of doctors point me. He's not going to no doctors. No, I'm talking man. about, like, getting himself checked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> him. Damn women. Nah, he not. I mean, he may. Yeah. I mean, he's not getting, like. I mean, like, and just making sure he's straight. Too, nah, he ain't going to them. It's too many. Bro, he, he have, can't go to all of like, them. Like, when they graduate. Some of them gonna graduate at the same time. He got like hood triplets. A couple he of got hood triplets. what? A couple of hood triplets. What is a hood triplet? When all your mama's pregnant at the same time and y'all like about the same year. Oh, age. that they close, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, he gonna have some hell of like they some years. <laughs> Private jets yeah. everywhere. What? Boy, that boy high school year is gonna be crazy. For real. And they all under like, except for Mariah Carey kids, they all under like. They ten. young, huh? <laughs> That's a lot of kids, bro. But I mean, every you know, year they announce Nick Cannon is having a kid, though. Like, uh, every six like months. Past, every six every months. Month. With the past, months. like, three years. I feel then. like every month this year, he's Nick had Cannon has announced that he's having a child. He got 12 kids? <laughs> How old Nick Cannon is? Let me see. Like, like 30 40, something, 40 something? 43. Oh, for real? I mean, he bred it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, and all 42. these women. How old he is? 42. That's a lot of kids, dog. I ain't lying. Wait. The thing about it though, you know, with that shit, and I, you know, they got bread and all that. The thing is though, how can you devote enough time to all of them? You know what I mean? Like, how many baby mamas are there? Let me go two, look at. Let me go three, find it for four, you. So I can That's a lot of baby mamas. Tree. You got six baby mamas. Mm. You found a family tree? Yeah, but it's not like the. It's all of, hey all they all the other ones that ain't Mariah Carey all they. Claim the fame is I'm a Mariah Carey step And they child. got some crazy names. Do they? Golden Monroe, Saigon. Okay, I'm going to read you Mariah Carey kids. Monroe and Moroccan. They're twins. Golden, what is it? Golden, Sa Golden Saigon? Or Golden Saigon. Powerful Queen. Um, is this their name? Yes. Zion. These are Zillion. all Mariah Carey kids? <laughs> no. Bless you. Mariah Carey I mean, kids you got two? They twins, yeah. Then, and the... And he got twins with somebody else too? No. Oh, yes, he does. yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He is twins with that boy ain't playing, man. Abby De La Rosa. Zion what y'all think that's about, though? Mm -hmm. You think it? I'm, I'm looking at it. Like, what you think the arrangement is? Because these women ain't tripping. I ain't never heard none of them complain about I, nothing. He must, he must do what he got to do. I don't know. Bro. Nah, they ain't complaining about nothing. Do you think they got some kind of agreement, though? Oh, some I'm, kind of contractual agreement? I would, I would have to think so. With, with all of these kids, you got definitely, to something, huh? something right. <laughs> definitely. Like, it's too and many of them. don't say young. nothing. Like, I think the women, because I, I saw an interview, you know, I, I saw an interview on YouTube with one, I don't even know who the hell she was or who they were, 
But she was saying like, there's a spiritual component to it for her. You feel me? Like, she believe in like, you supposed to procreate and you know what I'm saying? All that, all that. So, I don't know, man. That shit sound like it's a lot of shit going on. Mm-hmm. For real. Hollywood. Different place. Coach. That is true. Different that place. That is true. You see, my dog Tom got a divorce. That shit but been you in seen the, they got houses across the lake. I don't know. I saw that. What they doing? They going to get back together. They doing you something. think so? He going to have a little light out there. <laughs> we can see. Flash your light if you're on the. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> Flash your light Lights always sleep. on. Yep. Wild. He gonna ride his little boat. Over. He got a little, a little banana boat. Ride his little boat over there. You know. Hey, you know, time play it cool. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, boy. Just say I got rid of him. Quick. That's the With the kids, I know, dog. You got the kids too. Got the kids too. Can I take the kids to school today, please? Can't take the kids to school, dog. You better go win your championship. That what you want to do? <laughs> That's what you want to do so bad, right? <laughs> you wanted that ring. You took that right. other ring on this one. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can you can forget about all this. Uh uh-uh. uh. Forget about all this. You know, when your ass laying in that bed late at night, you forget about all this. But I mean, I'm sure Tom ain't gonna be. You know, Tom is, Tom is gonna be him. okay. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be alright, but still, boy, ain't nothing like your kids though and your family. You know, motherfucker ain't twenty, twenty three no more, dog. Where you just want to flip around and do your thing? Hell, nah, you, you looking for your kids? And then from yeah, and then from yeah. what I hear, he wanted that shit, but it was too late. You yeah. feel me? Like she, she told him, she, she was like, "Listen, I told you. your ass three years ago." You know, so Tom said, "I'm trying to get these rings." Tom, it's a Tom's a football player, bro. That's his profession. He's a professional football player. That's what he is. What you got, Jay? That's all I got. That's all you got. LSU Arkansas tomorrow. Oh yeah. That's about it. That was she should have hated. What you? What you? It was oh, LSU Arkansas trap game. Strange game. Fucking trap game. Thirty six degrees that kick. Oh God. I ain't know that and trap they game. Got the little like yeah. They got a shadow in their stadium. Yeah, it's a trap game for sure. Um, I be honest with you. Quarterback hurt though, Arkansas. This yeah. game right here, big boy. Mm. Oh, thank God. That's good. Perk was gonna tear his a big ass up anyway though. We're gonna chop that tree, baby. Perk was gonna chop that big ass. <laughs> Listen, dog. I ain't worried about nobody on offense. Mm-mm. Quarterback. Long we got Perk. I don't know, dog. It pisses me off so much more about four weeks ago when Brian Kelly came out with that bullshit <laughs> talking about, oh, we didn't play him because they couldn't because put him and BJ on the we field. We didn't together. know where he was going to play because we didn't have that position in the game plan or whatever the fuck he said. Like, dude, don't do that no more. Don't do that no more, Brian Kelly. Because especially when you, when we see <laughs> what kind of destructive force we have at that, man, unleash that boy, man. Like, dog, when you have a cat like him, Devin White, Brady James, um, and all uh, Twink Dog, and then these cats over the years that's been through here been balling. Ba- Baskerville, what, what's the boy name that was in Arizona? I forget his name with the M. What was his name? What was his name that was with at, the M? It was at Arizona. Oh, Arizona linebacker. He was raw from LSU. I forget his name. Oh, mentor. Yeah, Kevin Mentor. Kevin Mentor, oh, Kevin Mentor was raw. Was, I don't know how he was, he was raw. All them boys. We got to unleash cats like that, dog. You got to unleash them. When you got a cat like Big Perk, 4440, elusive, <laughs> tenacious. Yeah, we had uh, high Q. We had uh, Wilson Alexander on earlier the beat writer at the advocate yeah he was he doing a story on perk and he said he was talking to like one of his youth coaches or something it, it was either the youth coach or like one of his jv coaches or something and they put perk at quarterback and he said perk would purposely drop the snap to pick it up and to run. pick it up and run see that's what i'm talking and about outrun everybody you see that's what i'm talking about though you see that's what i'm talking about dog and, and this is what i'm saying when you hear i didn't even know know you were gonna say that when you hear stories like that, the reason why you retell it is because you ain't never heard it before. Mm. No, that's or because bad. you've heard it few and far in between. And the reason that is, is because that lets you know the kid is special. 
his mentality at that age was, I'm faster and better than everybody on this damn court. But you know what? I can't play this position. But you know what, though? I can run. I can run. <laughs> so I'm dropping this bitch. I'm picking up. I'm gone. And he quit football his you freshman understand? year. That's what I'm saying. He I'll said be. he was going to play basketball. He was going to the NBA. You better stop talking. I'm telling you. That's you better, what that you man better said stop this fucking morning. talking because if you keep talking, I'm going to love him even more. You better stop talking. <laughs> man, quit football. You better stop talking. And went back and look at him now. He That's said he was man. going to the NBA, bro. He had hoop dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine Perk playing basketball. It's me physical. neither. <laughs> too physical. I ain't going to lie. Way too physical. But you know what, though? He probably super good. Yeah. Y'all, they had a, I know y'all, you probably remember, they don't. They had a, wire, out of Florida, they had a wide receiver at Florida State named Lavernius Coles. He was a wide receiver, but in high school, he was a quarterback. And when I saw him, excuse me, he was a wide receiver and a quarterback. He ended up being a wide receiver at Florida State, quarterback in high school. But he was a point guard in the basketball and was a beast on the court, but was a bulldog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bully ball. He was a bulldog, though, because he was so physical. Mm -hmm. So if that's, I could see Perk doing yeah, that. I could see Perk doing that. I could see Perk beast and shit, though. But Perk too physical. Like, I feel like Perk I could see him doing that. If he got any kind of handles and finesse, just how physical he is. Listen, oh, he going through contact. Sure. I love that kid, Easily. bro. Like, follow him. You might get knocked out. Imagine but Colin right. Jackson playing basketball. Now, Colin can't do nothing. That motherfucker, <laughs> Technical fouls oh all game. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Get him out, <laughs> actually. Go get him. They lost that. They lost that uh, Catholic game, but he damn near killed the tight end, dog. Like I, I told, I said, man, listen, something wrong with you. Something's wrong with that kid. <laughs> I'm serious. Something wrong, Colin, dog. You got serious mental. Uh, it's crazy, dog. Like, he's just way. He's so physical, bro. Like, like. I keep telling you, you got you. like when we play on you guys. Even seven on seven, sometimes it's like, oh, he's not there this year. Uh, we're gonna miss him. But dog, it's like seven on seven. Sometimes he forgets that it's seven on seven. He forgets, like literally, he's snatching they damn because they got wouldn't hear. Mm -hmm. He going up there and it's like he in the middle of the air. He getting ready to thump him. And he remember like, oh, this is not tackle. And instead of him like just letting them go, he got to do something. <laughs> and he usually grabs their head. And throws it back, and the hair and the thing come off their head. Yeah, mm. fifteen, bro. Leading F three and fifteen yard penalty, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> My dog, though, great player. Uh, she getting a great one. So predictions. I got LSU forty one twenty seven. Boy, you like them high scores. I, hold on. First of all, last week who was the closest? Who was the closest? I had 31-24. You was the closest. Yeah, you was the closest. You I had 31-24. 30, 32-31. Well, why do you think I brought it up? <laughs> Try to get my flowers, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Okay. Well, we got Jay. I said LSU 41-27. You still going high like that after you've been high so long and ain't go? No pun intended. 41-27? Mm -hmm. It's Arkansas. It's Arkansas. It's cold. It's on the road. They're going to run it. You know that. They're going to shorten up the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they hit 41, dog. No. What you got? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. 35-17 LSU. Oh, they might hit 41. He say 35. What is it? 35-17 LSU. Because <laughs> like you said, they're going to slow the game up. They're going to be game cold. Up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might take a little while to... Get mm -hmm. into the rhythm of the game because it's going to be so cold, windy. Arkansas is just a weird place to play. They might just go out there and wreck something. Yeah, they might. But I know they're going to be ready to play. Like I, That's one thing I don't have a concern with is I this team being like, like, oh, we beat Bama last week. That was emotional. Right, 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 right. And right, we can't right. get No, let team. down, let yeah, down, let no down. Let you don't think it's no let. No. That's why I say it was a trap game. Yeah. That's why I call it a trap game because you could be so high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then either you walk in that bitch thinking – I'm the best thing since sliced bread. You or you walk in that bitch, we still got some shit to prove. Yeah. We still got some shit to go. And I think that's the attitude they take. Yeah, I think they go on. Kelly be doing. He was like, it's one game at a time. Yeah, like that's, you can't, you ain't done shit. Yeah. I mean, you beat Bama, you beat but Bama. that's it. And, and now let me say they ain't done shit, because that's an accomplishment. Yeah. But now, because 
this is where the, this is where coaching comes into play. We talk about why coaches get paid. This is one of the reasons they get paid money, because like, think about it, right? It's almost like when Saban them lost to Auburn, and he kicked, and they returned the kick, mm -hmm. and all he thought about was making the kick. You didn't think about the consequence if you miss the kick, what happens, right? Right. So I think this coach, they get paid the big bucks too to know what's going to happen if that doesn't happen, right? And Saban, they should have took some money from him that day, mm -hmm. right? So the same thing here with Brian Kelly. Dog, y'all just got a huge fucking win, right? Now what happens is, because at the beginning of the season, say whatever you want. LSU's goals weren't to go to the SEC championship and win the SEC championship. No. Can we all say? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? True. That's true. So now what do you have to do is refocus. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck, yeah. Brian, if they say that was that goal, it was. That's fine. And you can say that and, and, and for whatever reason. Yeah. But in year one, no. Mm -hmm. Right? So now what you do is you refocus. Cause it's not gonna mean nothing if they beat Alabama and go sell their ass. To That's what I'm saying. Arkansas. So you refocus, and now to get them boys and get everybody re-energized and enthused, you refocus the goals. Because at the beginning, the goals were change the mantra, change the the the, the program, uh, get the offense going, line up right, get everybody to understand what we're doing with the new coaching staff, new all that. Right. They did that successful up to this point. We can all say that based on the record of how they're playing. Yeah. So, okay, let's double down on that bitch. Now we got new opportunities. Refocus. Refocus gets us excited. Because you know what it tells me? Oh, y'all believe we could do this? So do we. Let's go get it. We're going to tear the ass up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So when you refocus, everybody get excited. Now to refocus the goals. Yeah. In the season, 2-0, and 3-0, oh, and oh, whatever it is. Win SEC West. That's one of your goals. Win the SEC championship. Let's get ready for the playoffs. Now you refocus your goals now. You don't think them guys go, you think them, you think them boys gonna go into this game down? Not thinking they could do whatever they well, first of all, everything with athletes and people in general, the endorphins go off in your head when you do great things. Mm -hmm. The endorphins go off in your head, you feel me, when you beat the Alabama. You want to keep that. Them guys know that. We want to focus and keep that. You understand what I'm saying? So I think they're going to go in and be ready. I think the final score is going to be 35-17 LSU. That's what he said. That's what you said? Yeah, I said 35 17. Nah, let me go there. I can't do that. I'm doing <laughs> what Jay do. 31. Nah, I think they're going to. Yeah, 31 17. I don't think they scored too much, especially uh, Arkansas. No, no, I don't think they scored too much. So I'm gonna go 31 17. They lost to Liberty last week, too. Yeah, I saw that. Liberty ain't bad, though. No, that's not a bad football yeah, team. Yeah, Liberty ain't bad I'm at all. I'm just saying. Liberty like, ain't bad at all. Just... Yeah, right. It's Liberty still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Listen, we appreciate. Right, listen, I appreciate y'all, bro. I appreciate y'all. I know how tough coming in today and everything was, but shit, y'all already know we're a team, we're a family, we get it done. We're gonna be back next week, hopefully, after a damn win. Okay. And we got uh, Lady Tiger basketball when that is tonight. tonight men's tomorrow. Men's night. tomorrow. Uh, and I think women again Sunday. I again say. in the daytime. They usually have in a day morning. game. Oh, morning. Like no, eleven maybe or one. But uh, shout out to Kim Moki and everybody and, and, and that team. But we're looking forward to talking about them, covering them throughout the whole year and the great things that they're gonna do. For Ron, Stu, Jay, we're gonna holler at y'all next week on who, who, who. Sorry, oh my god. What you laughing for? You left me I didn't mean to snort, but I was laughing at him. People crazy. It's snort too. I didn't mean to. It was, it was loud too, dog.